Welcome to Colorado and the Mountain Rules video series. This edition focuses on one of the biggest challenges of driving through Colorado's mountains, speeding. If you've been following our series, you know by now that throughout the year, you'll run into a lot of naturally occurring events on the roads, like sudden weather changes, rock slides, mudslides, and wildlife. While those are out of our control, one thing drivers can do to prepare is learning some tips on how to avoid speeding. Hi, I'm Nate, a professional truck driver from Colorado. I'm here on the west end of Glenwood Canyon, right at the start of the mountain corridor off I-70. This area is unfortunately a hot spot for traffic violations and accidents. In this video, we're diving into the importance of obeying posted speed limits, adjusting speeds based on weather and roadway conditions, and other ideas to get you to your final destination safely. We want to make sure that you're prepared for whatever you encounter when you're traveling through our state, especially in the mountain corridors. Now, there's a lot of information to go over, so come on, let's hit the road. This may sound simple, but the number one thing that prevents the worst accidents is to obey all posted speed limits. These are set to keep you and other motorists around you safe. Hi, I'm Colonel Matthew Bagger, Chief of the Colorado State Patrol. Did you know that speed is one of the leading factors in crashes throughout the state? Speeding causes about 300 commercial motor vehicle crashes every year in Colorado. In fact, speed is the leading culprit in crashes where injuries and fatalities occur. And in the mountains, it's worse. While I-70 sees the most traffic accidents, in southwestern Colorado, speed-related crashes on Highway 160 are prevalent up and over Wolf Creek Pass. Nearly 40% of crashes on US-160 happen along a single three-mile stretch. It is extremely critical to follow posted speed limits throughout your travels. While it's always important to obey posted speed limits, sometimes you'll need to go even slower. Weather and roadway conditions, especially in the mountains, are always changing and can make for dangerous travel conditions. Because weather in Colorado is unpredictable, Drivers should never exceed safe speed. Snowy, rainy, or icy roads mean slowing down. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration suggests cutting your speed by a third in the rain and by half in the snow. The same goes for when extreme sun glare or intense fog cause low visibility. Like Chief Packard said, speeding is the most common cause for CMV crashes in the mountains. When you go too fast, you put yourself and all drivers around you at an increased risk of crash and injury. It's also important to drive at the appropriate speed for the road you're traveling. I-70 is a difficult corridor. It's especially dangerous at Glenwood Canyon, where I'm at right now. Hairpin turns and quickly changing road conditions make this spot a place where some of the worst crashes happen. And there are many more places like this throughout the state. Rabbit Ears Pass, Berthoud Pass, Monarch Pass, and Wolf Creek Pass are just as dangerous. Winding roads make steering difficult at all speeds, especially since the mountains get a lot of wind. We recommend you drive cautiously through these areas. When it comes to safety, it's more than just about having control of your own vehicle. Any speeding driver contributes to a variety of potential violations and safety hazards. Speed impacts your reaction time and force. You may not be able to stop as quickly, so avoiding an accident that's already occurred will be difficult. And if you're in a crash, the collision will be more intense, causing more damages, regardless of who's at fault. Speeding makes the normal parts of driving more dangerous too. If you're going too fast, you might end up tailgating or tail tapping, making a crash more likely if road conditions suddenly worsen. It can lead to unexpected lane changes or swerving, and hot brakes happen more quickly in the mountains because of the steep grade. Finally, it is really important in Colorado to slow down when the grade gets steep. Whether you're pulling a heavy load or not, there's already a lot of strain on your brakes. A new law in Colorado says that any CMV exceeding safe speeds when the grade is 5% or more will receive a double fine of potentially other violations. It just makes sense to slow down. Remain calm and patient during your drive. The mountains are beautiful, so take your time going through them. You could put your reputation on the line with a violation, 
Speeding may delay the arrival of your deliveries after getting pulled over, an accident, damage breaks, or even worse. We want you to get your goods and services delivered on time and you home safe. We've covered a lot of ground and we want this video to be a useful tool. Screenshot this clip or follow the QR code to see a variety of websites and apps available, including resources from our partners at Colorado State Patrol and the Colorado Motor Carriers Association to help you prepare for your next drive through our state. That's all for now. Keep an eye out for our next video, or maybe we'll see you out on the road. Remember, slow, steady, and safe for the long haul. Thank you to the Colorado Department of Transportation, Colorado State Patrol, and the Colorado Motor Carriers Association for keeping truck drivers safe throughout Colorado and for your contribution to this video.